Hello everyone, welcome back. This is my latest Let's Play. A Let's Play of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The movie. The, the video game. It's, uh, it's one of the earliest games I can remember actually beating. Which is pretty cool, I guess. You know. Long ago and far away, a legendary interdimensional being known as Zordon came to the city of Angel Groves to establish a vanguard in the never-ending struggle against evil. With the aid of his trusted assistant Alpha-5, the Noble Master sought out six extraordinary teenagers and gave them the power to transform into a superhuman fighting force. In times of great need, the young heroes could now call upon colossal assault vehicles known as Zords. While the identity of the six remained a guarded secret, their outrageous exploits soon became the stuff of legend, earning them the title... The, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Look at those special effects. Sega Genesis at its finest. Um. <coughs> if you've ever seen this movie, you'll, uh, you'll be able to appreciate the gameplay here. Um, the game kind of tells the story of the movie itself, but if not, check out a Nostalgia Critics, uh, review of it, and you'll, you'll get the basic gist of it. The game actually does do a decent job of explaining things, though. 6,000 years ago, a morphological being known as Ivan Ooze ruled the world with a reign of unparalleled terror. He rid entire planets of their adult population, then brainwashed the young to follow in his evil path. A faction of young warriors known as the Order of the Millennium lured him into a hyperlock chamber and buried him deep underground. Present day, Angel Grove. An inner city construction crew accidentally uncovers the hyperlock chamber and releases the evil of Ivan Ooze. Um, I'll ask the question here, and I, no, I mean, I watched the show as a kid. Angel Grove seemed to be plagued with all sorts of evil, which, how convenient that all the evil of the world is concentrated right in the hero's backyard. Eh, why not? All right, stage one. Um, let me say this first. Beat 'em ups are not necessarily my favorite genre of game. And there are a few good ones, but they tend to last forever. Um, I'm looking in your direction, Scott Pilgrim. The uh, the awesome game you can. It's it's a fun game and it has great music from uh. Anamanaguchi, a uh, chiptune sensation. Get into chiptune if you haven't. It's good stuff. Um, but yeah, the the whole idea of defeat a certain amount of many enemies, then progress on, through the screen while um, adhering to the, the time limit, kind of, I don't know, kind of never gelled really well with me. I think the games I'm kind of best at are, uh, you know, your, um, your Zeldas, your Final Fantasies, even Devil May Cry, stuff like that. See, this is why I don't like it, right here. You're standing around, you're trying to hit things, and nothing's happening, so fuck these guys. I'm just going to advance as much as possible and then fight them from there. What's that building in the background, do you think? Looks like... Prison-esque? I don't know. I'm thinking too deep into things. Day Moon. Day... Yeah, Day Moon. I'm confused. Yep. Just beat em ups <laughs> I put it on easy, but even on hard, you can't think this game is too difficult. Probably should have played it on normal, but oh well. The Ooze Man. I'm sure that's had to be someone's moniker somewhere, right? Look out for him, he's the Ooze Man. Subway, mall, cafe, and a repeating background. Oh look, it's Ivan Ooze. And he just owned me. 
Don't worry, that was a scripted event. I wouldn't lose that bad naturally. There's the walking stage one cleared. Once released from the chamber, Ivan wastes no time. And attacks the command center, damaging Zordon and Alpha 5. With Zordon down, the Power Rangers lose their powers. Alpha tells them of a power that will help save... Sword on. With the hesitation, Alpha sends the Power Rangers to the planet Phaedos to find the Master Warrior who will get, help them gain the power that they need. Meanwhile, Ivan has gained mind control of the adults of Angel, I'm just gonna guess Grove, and taken out Lord Zed and Rita. Ah! Curses. After landing on Phaedos, the Power Rangers run into Dulcia, the Master Warrior, who saves them from the Tengu tribe. She guides them to the Neola jungle where they look for the power, where they will find the power that they are looking for. God damn it, I can't read. She warns them of the danger and sends them on their way. Okay. Before they go, they'll see it gives the rangers the animal powers of Ninjetti to help them survive. Continuing on through the jungle in their new ninja uniforms, the Power Rangers encountered many difficult enemies, including the skeleton creatures and the stone gargoyles. In the meantime, Ivan has used the adults of Angel Grove to help dig up two of his morphological monsters, the Scorpatron and Hornatron. Back on Phaedos, after defeating the stone gargoyles, the rangers find the Temple of Great Power. They discover how to gain the great power of the temple. With the last of his power, Zordon contacts the rangers and tells them about Ivan. With their new power, the rangers blast back to Earth. I really... They land in Angel Grove as Ivan Ectomorphicons are destroying the city. I really do like the music in this game. I know, I've said that every game I've LP'd so far, I think, but fuck it. The power is on! And join us next time for part two. We'll see you then. Take it easy.